April 14th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 29 and 30 from the Old Testament. Acknowledge the Lord, you heavenly beings. Acknowledge the Lord's majesty and power. Acknowledge the majesty of the Lord's reputation. Worship the Lord in holy attire. The Lord's shout is heard over the water. The majestic God thunders. The Lord appears over the surging water. The Lord's shout is powerful. The Lord's shout is majestic. The Lord's shout breaks the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young ox. The Lord's shout strikes with flaming fire. The Lord's shout shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's shout mends the large trees and strips the leaves from the forest. Everyone in his temple says majestic. The Lord sits enthroned over the engulfing waters. The Lord sits enthroned as the eternal king. The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord grants his people security. I will praise you, O Lord, for you lifted me up and did not allow my enemies to gloat over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. O Lord, you pulled me up from Sheol. You rescued me from among those descending into the grave. Sing to the Lord, you faithful followers of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts only a brief moment, and his good favor restores one's life. One may experience sorrow during the night, but joy arrives in the morning. In my self-confidence, I said, I will never be upended. O Lord, in your good favor you made me secure. Then you rejected me, and I was terrified. To you, O Lord, I cried out, I begged the Lord for mercy. What profit is there in taking my life, in my descending into the pit? Can the dust of the grave praise you? Can it declare your loyalty? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. O Lord, deliver me. Then you turned my lament into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and covered me with joy. So now my heart will sing to you and not be silent. O oh Lord, my God, I will always give thanks to you. Last 11 months of my life. The last 11 months of my life have, without a doubt, been some of the hardest times in my entire life. Um, betrayal that deep it is just truly baffling I don't even know what to say about it you know what you and I went through during that time and sadly since then the person who originally caused all that pain and hurt and destruction has selfishly made the choice repeatedly to do uh, similar attempts at the same thing. The latest coming within the last week. But I still say thank you. Thank you for bringing this person into my life. Not only because it gave me an opportunity to talk to him about you and and now he's in church, so that's a good start as any but more importantly, God, it drew me closer to you. The only safe shelter I had these past 11 months where I felt completely 142% safe was hiding within you. Having your arms wrapped around me was the only safe place I could go. Now, that's not to say I don't have amazing, incredible people you put in my life who... Without them, I also couldn't have made it these past 11 months, but our relationship definitely changed in the past 11 months. And for that, I am eternally grateful and would go through all of that pain again if it meant that, that you and I, God, that our relationship would be deeper, that I would, <laughs> I would love you more, which I didn't think was possible. 
but drawing as close as I did these this past year has just shown me that there's there's truly no end to where our relationship could go that there's truly no end to how much love you have for me that there's truly no end to your graciousness and forgiveness God, there were so many days and more importantly nights that I felt like I was in that pit. And you were there with me, holding my hand, comforting me, showing me the rays of light within that darkness. Filling me with your word, filling me with hope, filling me with the, the incredible miracles that you did right after every th all the destruction started to happen 11 months ago. God, thank you. This pain that I'm going through, I, I hope at some point <laughs> it's done. But if that point that it's done is at the end of my life, then I will still give thanks to you because you have covered me with joy. I'm no longer in the pit. All these amazing things have happened. And your promise to make all things work together for your good. You actually allowed me to watch a lot of those things. Front row and center. God, I do hope and pray that everyone gets to experience uh, the depth of your love. The depth of your patience. The depth of your understanding. God, I, I pray that, I hope that they don't have to go through horrible pain to get there. But whatever path that you have for them, please let them see it. Allow their feet to walk it. It's such an incredible experience to get to know you better. God, thank you for the destruction that happened in my life 11 months ago. Thank you for the pain and the hurt that has happened since. I do pray for this person that is causing this. It's hard to watch when you are standing there wanting to love them, wanting to give them your forgiveness. And they reject you and then they turn around and hurt your, your daughter Janelle. I don't know how much pain their heart must be in right now. That these decisions and these choices seem okay to them. But I do pray for them. It's got to be a horrible, horrible place to be. To not fully understand forgiveness. To not fully understand love. Thank you, God. Thank you for the joy you've brought into my life. In your son's name I pray. Amen. <laughs>